G'day guys, well that noise you can hear there is um, the spotted western bullfrog, beautiful frog. They're actually calling from way underneath the ground, probably about, I don't know, three to four foot underneath the ground, maybe a bit less. They're a pretty rare frog guys, um, I've actually only ever seen, they're a pretty rare frog guys because due to their salinity, um, from the um, long time ago when the farmers cleared all the land, too much land was cleared and the salt water table rises up to the surface of the ground. That's why you'll see in a lot of my videos a lot of salinity and so forth. But when I was a kid these frogs used to be thousands and thousands of them. But now um, it's great to see them actually breeding out here, out the local rubbish dump. So this ground's really good where they are now. Um, when I was a kid, I used to see, we used to catch hundreds of these. Every Friday night was our mission to catch these type of frogs. But back in Dumbayong, all the salinities raised to the surface. And also back in the days, they poisoned a lot of the, the frogs deliberately because we used to catch them on the local bowling green and the bowling club poisoned them all. Anyway, it's good to see them out here, guys. They're a beautiful, beautiful frog. And I'll show you what they look like. We'll see if we can find a burrow, but I doubt it. But underneath all this muddy soil here, that's where their burrows are. You can just hear them. It's a beautiful frog. G'day guys, it's Billy here from losttreasure.com.au I am absolutely stoked. This frog here is called a western spotted frog. It's one of my most favourite frogs and it is very very rare. I've not seen one of these frogs in my hometown Dumbleyung since I was about probably 12 years old. This frog is very rare in the great southern region of Western Australia because of the salinity problem. When I was a kid there was hundreds of these frogs everywhere but due to the, ra the rising um, salin salinity problem in Dumbleyung and other areas of the great southern region of Western Australia a lot of these frogs have are dying out so to find one of these frogs in my backyard has absolutely made my day or my night it's starting to rain it's the first time it's started to rain in Dumbayong probably for about one to two months so very happy to find one of these frogs in my backyard when I was a kid I used to dig these frogs up with my mates all the time so really happy guys I can't believe it I've heard them before in my yard but this is the first time I've, I've seen one it's a beautiful frog it's like a black frog with white spots on it I'll put up a, a photo so you can see a bit of description so at the moment I'm just going to go around my yard and do some frog spotting my yard is very um, environmentally friendly I've built a lot of ponds so we should be able to find about three species of frogs, maybe more. We'll see how we go. But this is a beautiful frog. We'll do a close up. So that's a western spotted frog. My favourite frog, very rare in the great southern region of Western Australia. It's a beautiful frog. Beautiful like white yellow spots on its back. I'm absolutely stoked guys, I can't believe this. 
Like I say, I've heard them in my backyard. They're a burrowing frog, so I've heard them um, croaking out at night from deep below the burrows. These frogs um, don't breed in water. What happens is when they wait for the rains, their burrows flood with uh, water. And basically when the burrows flood, that's when they produce their tadpoles. So their tadpoles don't um, grow in water. They just basically grow in the kind of muddy um, soil. I'm not an expert, guys, but this is what I've read. Anyway, guys, let's go for a wander in my yard and we'll see what we can find. See you, Froggy. Beautiful. Guys, here's another frog in my backyard. Um, this is a beautiful frog. I've got a lot of these frogs in my backyard. Once again, a big frog. Um, I think this one's called a banjo frog. So, it's a beautiful frog. Um, these ones are always um, croaking at night and yeah it's just great to walk around my garden as you can see I've got a lot of mulch around I've deliberately planted Here's another frog guys, just hidden um, amongst some leaf mulch, it's actually right behind a rose bush against a asbestos fence, it's beautiful don't you think, I love my frogs. I actually um, when I first started my fish ponds, oh not fish ponds sorry I hate fish my ponds. Um, I caught a lot of tadpoles from native, from our local um, water holes and that's how I introduced the frogs to my yard. Even though if you've got a healthy um, garden, frogs are going to come anyway. So yeah, I just love my frogs. Good for the garden and they're good for the environment. Alright guys, So this is another little species of frog guys, I'm not too sure what this one is, I'll um, do a bit of research on the internet to identify this one. It's only a very small frog, um, it's got no markings on it like the, the other two frogs I just showed you. So it's a beautiful little frog just sitting underneath. 